What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be discussing five breakout stars that I think will break out and have a great season during the 2021 campaign. And I actually am filming this the night before this will go out, so that's why the lighting might change itself. But anyway, everybody's been talking about transfer activity, that's what everybody's been thinking about, all anybody can look at, anybody can talk about. And with both of my club ha having their uh, transfer struggles, Barca uh, about, about to lose Messi, and Villa seemingly allergic to complete a deal. And that... Alright, so I'll interject here, it actually looks like Villa are going to complete a deal. I'm, this is th two to three days after I'm going to finish the intro, because this time I got in the round of recording the actual meat of the video, I've just filmed the intro a few days ago. But it looks like we're set to sign Matty Cash, so yeah, just scrap what I said, and let's keep going with the intro. Let's just take a break from looking at that, and let's predict five breakout stars for the 2021 campaign. Obviously, a breakout star is a player who was pretty unknown at the start of the season, but became a household name by the end, and let's get straight into it. By the way, I'm going to be doing one for each top five league, so yeah, that's how I'm going to format the video. All right, me from Three Days in the Future is back. Breakout star for the Premier League, I think, will be Conor Gallagher from Chelsea. This fella impressed on loan so much at Swansea that they actually recalled him, and he featured in today's friendly versus Brighton, and actually played pretty well coming on in the 54th minute and playing for the rest of the match. I just realized I probably used the headphones for a mic as well while I'm recording face-to-face, -face, even though I normally just use it for voiceover, so we're going to do that from now on. Anyway, Frank Lampard loves to give opportunities to the youth at Chelsea. The 20-year-old clearly has some quality, and let's say if Mateo Kovacic picks up an injury mid-season, he'll feature a little bit. He'll obviously feature during the Cups as well. So yeah, I think he'll make a break, have a breakout season, Let's make 26 appearances around, and yeah, good season for the youngster. And I think the breakout star for La Liga will be Ronald Araujo, the Uruguayan defender from Barca. Barcelona's defensive woes have been revealed towards the latter end of this season, with Piquet not getting any younger, Samuel Umtiti glued to the treatment table, while Langlet actually had a decent season, but he wasn't outstanding. Why not the 21-year-old Uruguayan, guys? Just why not? He's been in and around the senior team before, he's made a handful of appearances, he's impressed on certain occasions, and I think he'll do well this season. Whether he'll make a ton of appearances, maybe if some of the center backs get injured, Samuel Umtiti will probably be injured the entire season. Maybe if P.K. or Langlet picks up an injury, especially Langley. So yeah, let's go with Ronald Araujo for La Liga, and let's move on swiftly. For the Bundesliga, let's go for Renier Jesus, on loan from parent club Real Madrid for Borussia Dortmund. Why not Renier Jesus? The kid clearly has talent. The 18-year-old Brazilian has moved to Dortmund on loan. Last fellow that did that turned out a right for himself. He's just sealed a 40 million move to Inter Milan. That's Rafakimi, if you were wondering. But yeah, Renier Jesus, he could be a mainstay in the midfield. He could also be stuck to the bench. But you never know. Let's go for it. Because he's, he's got so much talent and he's a two-year loan deal. So yeah, Renier Jesus. The latest young Brazilian to join the conveyor line of talented players that signed for Real Madrid. Let's go that he's going to actually be a success at Dortmund. Get regular game time. Play very well because he's got the quality to do so. It's just mental now. Adjusting to a new country. It might take a month or two. But let's say he'll make... A good amount of appearances, appear in the Champions League, be the youngest player to score, like a hat trick in the Champions League, let's go for it. I think that's Rodrigo, but anyway, let's go for it. Renier Jesus, hope he has a good season coming from Bosa fan, because I think he should turn out to be something. So let's get into, I think it is Serie A now, it is, let's go. Speaking of the Serie A, we're going to be going for Sebastiano Esposito from Inter Milan. With the possibility of Latoro Martinez leaving the San Siro, I think Esposito could take his place at Inter Milan as a new young striker and then get another move to another bigger club outside of the Serie yeah, A, but let's say he'll do well for the club, stri striking up a stunning partnership with Romelu Lukaku up front. Let's say he'll score 15 goals in the league this season, even bag a few in the Champions League, or maybe the Europa League if they come third, but I think they'll get past the group stages this time, especially if their group is a little bit more favorable than it was last year. And this is the one I am most sure of. For the league, we have Monaco Stolet, Benoit Bereyashile, the 19-year-old center half. And this fella has been linked with a host of Europe's elite, Man United and Real Madrid, and supposedly being called the next Raphael Varane, so you know he's a good player. <laughs> and they've only gone and rejected a £22 million bid from Manchester United. Not many clubs can do that. And he's also been linked with Wolves, Tottenham, and Chelsea. And to think this guy is only 19, so composed on the ball, 
so assuring at the back. It's almost scary, and he will be one great player one day. I am telling you right now. But anyway, as always, thank you all for tuning, tuning in for today's video. I try to make them short, efficient, while also putting information out there and putting out my thoughts and opinions on the topics I discuss. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am trying to upload more. My videos take quite some time to edit, and I'm also very slow with making them. But thanks for watching today, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.